Welcome to Mind Body Happiness Challenge. So this week we are going to practice something that's written in my book, Fuel Your Body Naturally. Now there's one tip here which talks about karshana or dry brushing. Now this is very important for our lymphatic nodes and stimulating the lymphatic flow. So I would suggest you to go to page number 45 if you have this book and read about dry brushing. So you know, I just show you the process of how to do dry brushing. I send you the link from where you can order this brush from Amazon.com. The first thing you need to start with is start from your legs and bring it all the way up to your joints. Okay, so that's pretty important. So you start brushing upwards in this direction. It won't take more than five minutes to do this, and you should do this before you have your shower. And all the way you need to just do is to keep brushing it towards your groin area. That's where you need to do. Right, start from the front and move it all the way back and get it all towards your groin area. And that's, you can do it for the other leg too. And once you finish with your leg, you can then start with your stomach. You can push it towards your heart. Okay, you have to move it towards your heart area. So this is how you need to do it. Move it towards your heart. And then from here, you can move it either down or move it towards your armpits. So either way is fine. Usually I do it towards the armpit. So from my sides, I just move it towards my armpits. And from next one is your hands. You start from your fingertips and slowly brush towards your armpits. So that's where where the focus on lymph nodes are. So there, that's how you do this. Same here, you need to do it towards your armpits. Now for your neck, always remember first you try to make circles around your collarbone and then try to pull, push your brush towards the neck, downwards, in the downward position. Okay, now this brush is too hard for you do not use it on the face, you can have a softer brush and if you want to use it on the face, you move it from the side towards your ears. Okay, same thing, divide your face in two parts, this side goes to the left ear and this goes towards your right ear. So this is how you do dry brushing and from the back again push pull it down. So that way you are focusing exactly on to get this lymphatic node flow going well. I hope you like this. If you have to for your back, you actually need a longer brush, but then again, you can either pull it down here, and from here you can push it towards the joints of your shoulder. So that's how we can do it. Well, now the second aspect of it. Now this is for the body. And now for the mind, all you need to do is to sit cross leg in any comfortable position. You can even sit on your sofa if you're not uh, comfortable sitting cross leg. Objective is to practice silence and stillness. So when I say stillness, be in your most comfortable position. You could either be in Dhyana Buddha or in Brahmanjali or with your hands crossed whichever position, but remain still. Still in a way where even your breath is very, very minimal. You can practice it anytime during the day. In the morning, in the afternoon, before breakfast, after breakfast, before lunch, after lunch, before sleep. But practice silence at least two to three times a day. That will really help you. Five to ten minutes is good enough for you to practice silence. Now the third aspect of the Mind Body Habits Challenge is to Hydrate yourself and hydrate yourself with either coconut juice, coconut water, or what you call it as chaj, okay, or buttermilk. Either of them at least have one to two glasses of these drinks throughout the day. I think that's going to be very important for us to keep yourself hydrated. It's summertime and it's important to keep your body well nourished. I hope you liked the Mind Body Habits Challenge for the month of May and June. Enjoy it, practice it and nourish yourself. Bye.